Hello guys, welcome to the next episode of Euro Truck Simulator, random Euro Truck Simulator 2. I've actually, because I've just deleted one of the mods, um, it's kind of replaced me in a different location in Perpignan, but I'm very close to where I parked up in the last episode. So what we'll do is, we'll just drive back there. I think it's, it's three kilometers. Very close. Oh, this looks nice. We're just going to drive to where we uh, ended the last episode, and then once we get there, we'll be able to look at the available jobs. So yeah, I deleted the Heart of Africa map because um, you could only get there by ferry from Barcelona, maybe some other places as well. So for me, it's just not realistic enough. I don't want to be taking a ferry from Barcelona to is it West Africa. It's weird. If there was a road connection, which there probably will be in the future, then fine. I'll happily go there. I also want accurate maps. Uh, I'm not saying that one wasn't. But there's another map I think that goes down to South Africa and I've I've read bad things about it. It's it's quite fictional. At the round, take the first exit. It was a nice ride. So yeah, this is where we ended the previous episode so let's get in here what is it with Perpignan? It's making turns are really difficult here oh jeez louise almost crashed again really hate Perpignan <laughs> I'm sure it's a lovely place but just for driving my truck in on the game is difficult right okay let's see then what's available oh wrong button job market Perpignan that's one company two companies three okay only three companies so we'll do the random number generator um, for this and also to find out um, where we're going to allocate that point to as well. Okay, first up then is the um, number generator for the point allocation. Let's see what we get between one to six. It's number six, we haven't had that one yet. I can't remember what that is. I've got a feeling it might be the, um, the one I don't want, which is um, the fast delivery one, just in time delivery. I'm not sure, it may not be that one. But anyway, let's now do the generator for um, which company we're going to be picking up from. So it's between one and three. And it is number three. And that's the one that doesn't have many jobs available. That's the smallest of the three companies. Okay, sounds good. Okay, so we need to allocate the point. Uh, where, how do we get to it? Skills to number six. Okay, it's eco driving. That's I was fortunate. It's not just in time delivery. That's the one I want to avoid. So I'm happy about that. Um, and the second one then. Um, oh, I always press the wrong button. It's the job market. Um, it was the third one. So all of these jobs are not going to expire. So basically we're either going to Bourges. Bourges, it's quite a long journey. Heading north in France. So mm, not sure I particularly want that one. What's this one? Cesari? On is that Sicily? 
think it probably is. Um, it's quite a short one. And it, oh, and it involves driving into Spain as well. Um, so it would actually be three countries. Um, is it Sicily? Just a minute. Because what about... Um, <laughs> Oh, I think Corsica, yeah, Corsica is the north, is there. So yeah, it is Sicily, so it is Italy. Okay, and Zaragoza, 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 however you say it, um, in Spain. So yeah, I'd be up for um, the Italian job or the Spanish job. Wouldn't particularly want to do the French one. Although saying that, the French one is the longest, so, and it is the weekend. So it wouldn't be a disaster. But it's just kind of not. Well, it is a new. It would be a new route, new road as well. So I could do it. Wouldn't be, yeah. Wouldn't be the end of the world. Okay, so we are off to make a pickup from Lisette Logistics. Oh, it's so nice not having those headphones in over my ears. Oh, I was trying to improve the sound quality. I know there's some interference. Ah, oh, but oh, it's just overpowering just having the sound of the, the truck in my ear, in my ears, like the whole time. Um, and it just makes it so difficult for me to speak. So I have to think of a different way to improve the, the sound quality. Not the right of way there. At the I was actually reading about this city, Perpignan, um, on Wikipedia. It's quite an interesting place. So this is actually Catalonia. I mean, Catalonia is usually associated with Spain, like okay. Barcelona. Um, I knew that France was part of like the, the Basque region along with Spain but I didn't actually realize that Catalonia included parts of southern France such as Perpignan so it's probably actually quite an interesting city to visit or just an interesting region of France to visit turn left So this is France, but not France not, as we know it, not the usual kind of uh, France. I should even, I don't know, I don't know what the difference is here, like, is there, I don't know how unique or how, what's the word, how strong the, the culture is, the Catalan culture in this city. Right, so we have a choice of three, let's just check. So it's Bourges. Sassari or Zaragoza. So let's see which of the three places we're going to be heading to. Right, let's see which of these three places we're going to be going to. They're all quite different, all in different countries. A nice bit of variety. So one is that place in France, central France, can't remember the name of it. Bourges, Bourget, however you pronounce it. Two is Sassouli, something. Um, in um, Spat, well, Italian island. Uh, and the third one is Zaragoza, it's in Spain. So we are going to. Okay, it's the first one, Bourges. It's the longest journey, but it's the least interesting of the three. So, yeah, a little bit disappointed with that, I think. Right, so Bourget it is. At least it's a nice, nice distance. I get a bit of a drive. Um, let's, let's go. go. Let's go. Well, we go to the same thing at the same time. I 
guess we're going to need to have a rest stop for this one probably. One is ours. It's that one. Let's do this. Yeah, let's do it. Right. We are connected. Next, well, we're supposed to get her in eight hours, 46 minutes. Next rest stop. Okay, we don't need to um, have a rest on this journey. Good. Let's have a look at the world map to see the journey. Um, right. So it's, it's on unexplored road, which is good. And there's a photo opportunity there as well. I like the look of that. Um... It looks just a pretty simple, straightforward journey, just heading north. Um, so, yeah, I don't think there's anything to really change here. I mean, what happens if we went this way instead? Like cut across here. Would that make things quicker? 675 kilometers. No, it's a little bit longer. So we won't do that. What if we go this way though? No, not not that way. <laughs> this way. Oh, that's much shorter. 544. That's much shorter. 13 hours and 4 minutes compared with eight hours how can that be so much longer i don't i don't get it it must just be on much like smaller roads going through villages or something maybe um i'd rather go this way to be honest 675 kilometers 544 that's much much less distance wise I'm going to go this way. Is it really going to take as long as that? I mean, how bad can these roads be? No, I definitely want to go this way. It looks a more interesting route. Let's do it. Time to get the job done. It's really weird that. Much, much shorter, but yet much, much longer. So I will, I will need a rest stop. <laughs> if it is going to take as long as it says it will. Let's see. Maybe we'll find out as we go along the route why it's uh, taking so, why it's going to take so long. We're going to be driving through lots of villages, lots of traffic lights. I really don't know. Difference in distance was huge. Right, don't crash. Do not crash this time. Let's get out of Perpignan in one piece. Turn left. Nice and easy. Easy does it. So we're certainly um, getting a good look at France on this game. We've been, well, to a lot, many parts of the country now. We will have done by the end of this journey. Still plenty of places in France we haven't been to. As it is a pretty big, well, it's a big European country. Time. It's lunch time. Oh, it's going to get dark though because we're not supposed to. Well, we're not going to. We're not due in until half past two. 
in the morning. So what did he say? Keep right, didn't he? No, keep left. I thought he said keep right. Keep right. Definitely said keep right this time. So, um, yeah, our destination, Bour Bourges, Bourger, it's probably pronounced Bourger. Um, never been there. I've barely heard of it, to be perfectly honest. I mean, I'd rather be driving through France than Germany. Um, I would say that. It's Germany, it's all careful. I mean, France, on this game, I'm not saying in real life, but on this game, France definitely has more character than Germany. Germany, I just associate with autobahns galore. Um, absolutely. This has been, this has its own DLC, which Germany doesn't as well. Even though the, the DLC is a very old, the Viva La France DLC came out years ago. Still, just feels, I don't know, it just feels like there's more in the, on the road, more to see, more villages. I must admit, it would have been nice to go into, into Spain and check out the uh, Iberia map, which is a lot newer than the um, Viva La France map. But it wasn't to be this time. It's just always a little bit, I don't know what's the word, like a kind of, not kicking the teeth, but always feels a bit sad to like be heading back to kind of or staying in territory that you're familiar with. Like, you know, we're heading in a northern direction, we're heading back to the U towards the UK. <laughs> Which is not really, where I, not really where I want to be. I just can't get my head around why this journey is going to take so long. I need to just check something. 24 hours so I, I can easily afford to have a rest stop if this was a, an urgent delivery then I'll just go the quickest way I, mean, I could have gone the other way because it's, it's also on uh, unexplored road I don't really know what, where we're kind of heading towards, like what, what cities we're going to be sort of going through on the way. I didn't really paying attention. Normally, when I drive somewhere, I'm pretty good at geography, so I kind of say, "Oh yeah, towards Berlin or whatever, towards Paris. That's what we need." But with this route, I'm not really sure. Yeah, what places we pass on the way, what places we don't pass. So I'm relying very much on my GPS. No, the voice as well. So we are backtracking at the moment. This is the way that we came from uh, Leon. Oh, Leon is on the signpost there. But we're not going to be following the road to Leon for too much longer. I 
Okay, looks like we are coming off the road here. So this is newly unexplored road already. I wonder how many of these we're going to come across on our journey through France. I know I keep saying it, I still can't get my head round like how, why this journey is going to take so long. There must be a good reason for it. Unless it's just timed badly and I'm just going to end up doing it a lot quicker. So where are we at the moment? So I think this is the way we were going to be coming anyway. I haven't changed the route. Well, I'm not sure about that. It just doesn't make sense, right? We've got about 400 kilometers left, and he's telling me it's gonna take over 11 hours. I don't believe that. If we were like driving you know, on mountainous roads and stuff, all these you know, bends and whatnot, and up a hill, yeah, fine, I'd get it. But I'm pretty sure we're not. We're going through like the center of France. And it's just been pure motorway so far. I reckon it must be an error in the game. Must be. We'll soon find out. <laughs> What's this? A nice bridge. Not the first uh, in uh, France. So we have in uh, La Havre. Back in episode three and four, we crossed over the nice bridge. Seems a long bridge. Yeah, so I mean, it just seems like a straightforward route on motorway, just heading north. Just have a rest stop in seven hours, 52 minutes.
So, so far, I'd say, oh, it's a difficult one, but I said the most interesting journey was probably between um, Clug and Furt and Innsbruck. However, it was driven in the dark, so I missed out on <laughs> all the views. Well, so maybe I should have said that would have been the best uh, route so far, if it had been light. So if we're thinking about the most interesting route based on light <laughs> and not darkness, ooh. I mean, the, the, the following route from Innsbruck to Lyon was quite nice, but it was, yeah, we drove through Switzerland, but I mean, it was all on motorway. Wasn't, I mean, it wasn't great scenery, to be honest. So I don't know, we haven't really had a standout journey so far, really, based on those factors, I don't think. So I'm just wondering, should I be thinking about having a rest stop? I mean, the time seems to be dropping pretty rapidly. Look at it, it's racing down. Let's have a look. Six hours, 38 minutes. I'm gonna keep an eye on that because I think they've got the timing all wrong. Let's see. There's no way it's gonna take seven and a half hours to get to our destination, which is 250 kilometers away. No chance. On motorway as well, driving at 90 kilometers an hour. It's impossible. Well, it's not, not impossible, it's... <laughs> well, yeah, it is impossible driving at 90 kilometers an hour. But yeah, if I was driving slower, then yeah, it would be possible. That's interesting. Oh, the game's got it wrong. Hmm. So that's why it's always worth checking the route and trying to, you know, play around with it, see if you can find a different route, not trusting the, um, G the GPS system. So it's now saying, yeah, I've got a rest coming up in six, just over six hours, but I'm now six hours away. So it looks like we're going to be absolutely fine. We're not going to need to have a rest. This is what I thought would happen. I'd have to recalculate the time. Is that a castle up there? Chateau?
yeah, it didn't it have me like to arrive at something like Tuesday morning at like, I don't know, half past two or something? No, it's telling me I'm going to get there on Monday night. And that time is rapidly dropping. I think we're heading to sort of central France, south of Paris. Saw that. just so nice to be able to drive at 90 kilometers an hour not have to worry about you know sticking to 80 like in Germany and other countries very negative in France are these things <laughs> these toll booths you probably actually end up not really saving that much time by driving at 90 kilometers because of all these stops you have to make Right, not too far now. Oh, Bourget is on the is on there. On the signpost. Not even get there before it gets dark at this rate. <laughs> going to overtake. It's a rarity. It looks like we are. Uh 
are very close by now. I feel like a genius for finding this route. The GPS was hiding it from me. It wanted me to go all around the houses. Trying to cheat me. I was too smart for it. I didn't think this was going to be like a, you know, like a narrow, small country road. Because it seemed too long, too... Yeah, I just thought something wasn't right. When, you know, when the uh, time came up and stuff, telling me it's going to take 13 hours or something. It's actually been an extremely quick um, journey, this. Just no messing about at all. Just got out of Perpignan straight away, just straight onto the motorway. And we haven't looked back since. <laughs> Hopefully we'll have no, no problems when we get to Bourget. It's only going to be a small place. Here we are. Zoom in. Let's see. Jeez, I missed it. I missed a turn off. Oh my god. I said no mishaps when we get hit. Oh my god, there's a police car there as well. Oh my god. I think I'm going to have to just drive on. I don't think I missed it. Um, my bad wasn't paying attention. I wasn't expecting there to be a turn just there. Silly me. It's not the end of the world. Need to see a bit more of the town. Turn right. Okay. What here? I can't get around there. <laughs> Can I? Why am I going to be turning right? What the hell? I'm not turning down there. All right. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull in on the left. And just turn around. 
421 kilometers. <laughs> How do we get in here? Let's just spin around and just go back. Ridiculous. I'm having a bit of a nightmare when I arrive in these cities at the moment. This hasn't crashed yet. Right, let's try again. The place is just there somewhere. Right, let's make sure we make the turn in sun. Yeah, it's unusual. You don't normally get like it's such a small turning. It's so near the roundabout as well. This is going to be tough. We need to pull out a little bit here. Oh my god. It would have been easier the other way around. The way I should have gone. It's a tough turning that. So just about okay. Gee, this is narrow. Well, I like this. This gives you a little bit of a challenge. I like this little petrol station here as well. That's pretty cool. I don't often see them. This is really nice. I had to go on the curb there, really, didn't I? I didn't have any choice. It's not really uh, designed for lorries to be driving through, is it, this place? I like it. A bit of character. It's a bit different. Okie dokie. Yes, that's not going to be the one, is it? That's going to hit a truck, uh, the trailer. Oh no, it's not. It's better than I thought. Now I've messed it up. Right, just be patient. This is easy. This is easy. What am I doing? <laughs> Oh my god. Ah, I'm not really at the right angle here, am I? My angle was better before. I have to get a what the hell am I doing? Seriously. Seriously. What am I doing? No, 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 no. That is not the one. That is really... I'm not even close. I'm not even close, am I? It's ridiculous. I've got it all wrong. My driving has just gone downhill in these last few episodes. What am I doing? It's completely wrong. The angle's wrong. Right now, turn, turn, turn. Sharp turn, but it's not right. The angle's not right. Whew. 
Right, I have to turn the other way. Shit, you're gonna crash. <laughs> I'm making a right pig's ear out of this. It's really not that difficult. You know, on another day, I probably could have just got could have got straight in there the first time. I messed it up from the beginning. I think that's gonna be okay. It's not great, but it should be okay. Okay, job done. Let's have a look where the nearest sleeping point is. Where actually are we in the country? Yeah, south of Paris. Pretty central. Okay, so where can we sleep? There we go, there's a place. We'll sleep there. Why is it not working? No. That's weird. I'll just put the thing there, that'll do. Ready for ready. Right, we've got to navigate these narrow streets again, but it'll be easy obviously, because I'm not carrying anything. Ready to turn well, I do like this, as I said. Like with um, the German map, for example. I've never seen anything like this. Oh, shit. Oh, what am I doing? I didn't even hit that thing when I had the bloody trailer. Always having problems. Now, in these cities for some reason. Well, this one's kind of obvious why I'm having problems, because it's quite difficult. <laughs> but, it's poor. Watch it, slow down. Jesus. Oh jeez, I almost crashed. Come on, let my people go. Come on, let me out. Oh, we almost crashed, but... <laughs> Didn't. You know, you've got to be, um, what's the word, you've got to push yourself uh, in France, you know, you've got to get out of these places, even if you haven't got the right of way. Right, where's that parking place? It's on, uh, on the left, I thought it was on the right, but okay, looks like it's on the left. Don't miss it. Where is it? Get in here. What the hell? How do I get in there? What? Here yeah, maybe. This place is really weird. Quite unique, I quite like it. New passage. Ooh. Interesting. I'm 
crash into you guys. Oh, I like this. It's raining. Right, that's the end of the episode. Thank you guys for watching. Oh, see you for the next one.